Alright, what's up everybody? So I did say that I was going to go over some like betting tips and such, so I'm going to kind of involve some betting tips as well as who I assume will win each group stage in ESL1 Karavich. So we're going to start with Navi versus Fnatic. Um, so this one's kind of biased on my part, but I also do assume Fnatic will win this one out. Um, so we're going to go over some fine details here. So we're going to go over on HLTV and Goshu. Gosu Gamers, um, I do prefer Gosu Gamers, Goshu, Gosu, um, there's many more websites you can use, but I prefer these two in particular, um, so as you can see, if you look over February, um, which was just like one or two days ago, um, uh, depends on when you watch this, um, Fnatic is on quite a good spree, 25 wins, 1 tie, and 6 losses, um, most of these games were best of threes, um, every event seemed to be best of three, so they've been taking out some of the top tier teams, um, losing to some teams as well, tier one teams, but that's just because they're all best of ones. Um, I don't even think they really played any best of threes lately, but um, I would say Fnatic should take this one easily, although it's a best of three, or I'd assume because that's how all Katowicz events are. Um, and then if you if you look at Navi, they only played f seven games in February, winning out 71%. Uh, let's go to, back to Fnatic's. Um, they have 78%, but they played like three times more um, than Navi. And then if you also look at rankings, I wouldn't really look at these. Um, although Fnatic's is kind of correct, being one of one, um, but seven in the world to an EU, which is kind of confusing because most EU teams are way better than any other. In the world, so it says there's seven and two, and they don't really update these that often. Like LDLCs was like number one for a long time, and it didn't even change, even when they got their new NVS team. So I'm not really sure. And with HLTV, um, you can look at their matches, previous matches, and their maps. Um, and then once you click on maps, you can actually look at the statistics for like pistol round wins, deaths, wins, and all that type of stuff. So I do really like HLTV, but you don't really know the maps yet. But anyway, um, you could also look up Navi head-to-head -head matches and see who always comes out in the top. But um, if you look back in the past, uh, people can perform better or worse during certain times. Fnatic should take this, but we could also look at their recent match wins. Um, losing to VP, beating LGB, losing to Penta. Although Penta kind of perform good on certain days, like they need to have a good day. Um, they also beat them, beat them, beat them. They lost to Dat in a best of three. And one versus Existence. I would just say um, VP should take this. I'm not VP. Fnatic should take this. Um, looking at their recent match wins and such. Um, they are winning most of their best of ones. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they lost some. If they were best of ones. Just because it's best of ones. Some teams can perform better on certain maps. And some teams can underperform on certain maps as well. And one other thing you have to consider is, is this team good at LAN? Because LAN and online is a completely different thing. Because, um, like, in online you have to consider DDoS and, like, kind of a delay. So, this is going to be a fairly close game. Although I think Fnatic should take it. Alright, next we have Vox Eminor versus Flipside Tactics. Now, I went with Vox in this one just due to the fact that Flipside have been underperforming recently and they will be using a stand in Dav Coast in replace with um, Simple, which is one of their fairly carries, although some games he does underperform. So. They're going to take out Simple and sub in Davcost, although they did qualify with Davcost. Um, who knows how they will do. Um, I would assume they practice a little bit with Davcost, but I don't know. You really don't know how they will do with um, a f sixth player. So I guess they'd have to sub in, sub in, sub in, like practice with each other and here and there. So currently they're on a four loss streak, 50% um, wins, losing to some teams which are pretty upsetting they lost um copenhagen two to zero um, but i'm pretty sick right now i have a cold and such so if you see random cuts here and there it's probably me coughing or like huffing and puffing or something so when i talk a lot my voice gets scratchy and like i start coughing so anyway um envy us they lost envy us which was 
I would expect to lose to NBO. So they lost to TSM, which I thought that'd be a well-fought fight, as well as Copenhagen Wolves, but they just got blown out, even with simple playing. So, I don't know. They're really underperforming, and Vox recently has been doing a little bit better, winning three of their matches. Well, four in a row, actually, in the past two months. Um, But that's only four matches in a in a month, and um, flip side playing ten in a month, so... I don't know, they haven't really been playing that much. Vox, I guess they've just been boot camping or something. Um, they've been beating Dignitas and 3D Max, but they also lost to them as well and losing to Titan. So this one's a pretty tied match, although I would just go with Vox just due to the fact that Flipside has been underperforming and they're going to have a stand-in. Um, but that stand-in should have some practice um, with the team and hopefully they'll boot camp as well. Um, but Flipside is pretty unpredictable. Like, I was watching the offline qualifiers, and that was really random. Like, they'd win some, like, by big, and then they'd lose some by little or by a lot. So, that team Flipside tactics is kind of unpredictable. Um, winning 50% of their matches, although most of them were best of ones. They did 2 to 1 LGBE. So, I don't know. They beat Liquid in a best of one. Um, so this one's a pretty 50-50. I would just flip a coin or just go with my assumption. All right, next we have... I'm going to skip to Group C just because, I don't know, I feel feel like it should go this way and then this way, but uh, they kind of did it sideways. So I'm just going to go with Group C. Next we have Hellraisers versus Ninja in Pajamas. Um, I feel like this one is as well as a 50-50 because Nip is trying out Alu, although he's been into the team for a little bit and they'll have a little bit more time to boot camp which for sure they are going to boot camp and Hellraisers is known to be the upsetter um they can pull off some wins even on like 80 to 20 odds or less um so Nip having their full lineup with Alu now which he's been performing fairly well um underperforming on certain maps where he can't really opt but he can also use Rifles, which most of the other operas aren't really too good at doing, so I feel like Nip could take this one. Although so far they haven't been doing too good. Um, five to one to ten, um, thirty-one percent wins. Um, that's just due to the fact that they've been trying out people. So we'll see how they do. This is the first match that they will be performing in for groups. So we'll see if they can do pretty good. And if you look at their stats here. Um, although these are pretty, pretty random stats because they've been trying out a lot of new people. Uh, I'm trying to like force myself to talk. And as you can see, my voice is kind of like changing tones while I'm talking. Like you can kind of hear me like suffering. Um, but anyway, um, Hellraiser's being 10 in the world, 3 in the EU West. Huh. I feel like that's kind of odd. Um, but they've been performing fairly well. They've been doing some upsets, um... They got owed and tooed by Nip, so they did lose pretty badly there. They 2 0 Nip. They lost to Envy. They beat, or no, they didn't beat. They lost to LGB. So, if you just look at these here, you can pretty much tell that they can upset some teams and they can be an upset themselves sometimes. So, they wiped out some teams. They got wiped on some matches. They're like a 50-50 team. It just depends on the day, I guess, for them as well. I would just go with Nip for this one. I don't really feel like they're going to really upset Nip in a LAN on a best of three with them boot camping with their new opper, Alu. So, I don't really see an upset coming here anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, next we have CLG versus Keed Stars. If you don't know yet, uh, Keed Stars is the previous Kabum, the Brazilian team, and CLG's the North American team, which is on quite a nice spree of, like, winning out on most of the, um, North American teams, so, as you can see here, Kabum, uh, Key Stars have announced that they have secured the services of the former Kabum TD team, so Keed Stars, um, don't have any games under the name of Keed Stars, um, I would assume they'd kind of try and perform with their new, like, sponsor, uh, you really never know. Um, new team that has kind of uprised uh, recently and in the big lands and such. So don't really see them play too often. Um, so I can't really do any analysis on that. Um, but I'm just going to go with CLG because there are more well-known teams. Second in NA, although I would say they're number one. They've been beating out Cloud9 pretty often. Two wins 
um, one zero one zero. Um, but then also losing to Liquid and SKDC, but most of them are best of ones, and also beating out Elevate a bunch. Mythic, um, Mythic aren't even there anymore. They joined a new team, um, but yeah. So I would go with CLG on this one, although. The Kaboom hype is real, or the Keyed Stars hype is real, just because they got money from Fnatic, um, Flush, was it Flush? I think it was Flush, yeah. they got money from Flush, uh, who donated, so they could come qualify at the offline event, and they also got some from, I think, ESCA or HLT, I can't remember, I think it was ESCA who also gave them money, but they have to, like, pay them back or something, so I'm not too sure, but... The hype for Keyed Stars is real, um, which they did actually disband from Kabum um, shortly before the event, and they were luckily able to find a new sponsor to get them a sticker and to come back and qualify. So, the Kabum hype is real. So this one could also be a flip of the coin, it just depends on what maps show up, because I know Kabum just, like, destroy anybody on Mirage, so, or Keyed Stars destroy anyone on Mirage, so... We will see how that works out. All right, so now we have NVS versus Penta Sports in Group B. So this is, should be after um, Vox and Flipside. Um, so this one should be a pretty easy win for NVS. Um, they've been underperforming recently um, in online, and I feel like they've been saving their strats for Katowice. Um, so they've been losing to everybody, and then all of a sudden they're like, all right, we're coming back getting it together, and then they started winning against other Tier 1 teams, like, they beat Ninjas, but, um, I think during this time, anyone could have beaten Ninjas, because they're still trying out new players, um, and probably not even giving out strats to their new player that they try out, so, um, I would say that perhaps they've been saving their strats for this event, um, and then Penta, I don't know, they're kind of like a Tier 1, Tier 2 team, they're kind of in the middle, they're just like HR, they can sometimes perform really good, sometimes they can underperform like really, really badly, so I would say easy win for NVS, uh, you don't really have to look into this one if you ask me, um, but maybe, just maybe in a best of three they can pull off an upset versus Envy, I highly doubt it, due to the fact that they are the previous top tier one in the world, um, winning out all the other offline events on land so i think nvs should take this one easy um if you don't even know nvs is the old ldlc so yeah it should be an easy win there next is lgb esports versus titan um i feel like this is kind of one-sided um but it also all comes up to Senny k's performance aka kenny s um i just feel like messing his name up but anyway um lgb also Kind of underperforming, well not kind of, but really underperforming against tier 1 teams, um, or the higher end tier 1 teams. I feel like they can somewhat perform versus like mediocre or lower tier 1 teams. Um, so I really don't watch LGB, um, I don't really root for them or bet on them, because, I don't know, they're pretty much a like 80-20 matchup. Usually the other team will win if it's a high end tier 1 team. Um, but this one, I don't know, it kind of is all up to Kenny S, how he performs, although some games he doesn't perform and his teammates will pick up for him, um, but him being the major carry and pretty much the major reason why Titan are kind of a good tier 1 team, and they recently versed LGB Esports already in a best of 1 and Titan 1, um, not gonna really look into that, um, I just feel like, um, Titan will take this being... Titan can perform pretty well, recently beating NVS and Nip, but, you know, Nip doesn't really matter, and Fnatic, which is a pretty big win, but it's, it's only a best of one, so, I don't know, I feel like lately Titan have been performing pretty well, so, I think that one's a pretty secure win right there. Alright, now we have Virtus Pro versus TSM, um, I don't know, this one's kind of 50-50 performance, although I just believe Virtus will take it out from TSM, um, from seeing TSM's recent performances, kind of like underperforming, and then Virtus Pro performing pretty well lately, um, with Pasha and Taz, or Snacks, carrying pretty well, um, so I do watch these matches here and there, um, I don't really watch it because most of the matches occur when I'm in school or dead asleep, so, as you can see, this is why I don't go with the rankings on Ghost of Gamers, because look, World two in the world, 
but I mean, number one in EU, how can two teams be number one at the same time? I don't know, um, but if you look at their recent performances, they beat Navi, they lost to Gamers 2, I'm not really sure why, they beat Fnatic, it's best of one, Copenhagen, they already beat TSM in a best of three, although TSM won one, so it's all up to the map pool, um, what maps get vetoed and what maps get picked, so it's all up to that, I would say, um, and then they also beat TSM in a best of one again, so... I don't know, I'm going to go with uh, VP in this, and then as you can see, recently they're on a 9-4, and four, recently winning 5 in a row, but they weren't really reversing anyone too big, just Titan and Flipside, I would say, are the important ones, which they did 2-0, and o, Copenhagen and Flipside, um, and 1-0 and uh, Titan, but then also losing the VP, LGB, Fnatic, so with my own personal look at just those matches there although you could look at the map pool and the scores and see that um, but just with that there I would just root for VP and assume they would win so group D VP that, that kind of rhymed ha. last but not least we have cloud 9 G2A versus 3D max now I'm kind of a cloud 9 fanboy although not as much as before I used to love Hiko and then I I liked Shazam um, as he was coming up, I used to follow him, watch him on Twitch and all that. And then he joined Cloud9 as Hiko left. So I'm like, oh, God, I like, I love Hiko and I like Shazam. So I'm like, uh, I'll just have him as my second favorite team. So, um, Cloud9 versus 3D Max. This one's kind of biased on my part. I like Cloud9. And then, don't really know much about 3D Max. But if you just simply look at the stats, um, it's basically a 50-50 match. Um, didn't really bother looking into... Um, any matchups between them because I'm pretty sure 3D Max is really hasn't really been playing that much only six matches in February um, But they're on a two win winning spree in a best of ones So I don't know and if you look at cloud nine stats, they've been um, Having DDoS problems, so they've been having stand-ins um, and actually pulling together some wins during this process So I don't really know this one's actually a flip of the coin as well um, as long as well as some of the other matchups, um, so I don't really know about this match, but I would just go 50-50, flip a coin, or just go with the one you like or know more of. Um, I would just go with Cloud9, just due to the fact that I'm a fanboy, and they've had a lot more matchups recently, playing more, practicing more, and they're also going to be boot camping. So um, this one's up to you, I would say. All right, so that's it for my predictions on the ESL one. Out of each 2015 group stages, I'm no professional better, nor am I really good, and I'm pretty biased when it comes down to my picks, but these are my assumptions and picks, so hopefully you follow them, or comment below if you have something you want to say, or you have actual statistics or something on who should actually win. I, I could possibly change my bets when it comes down to that, so thank you guys for watching, and have a good day, night, or wherever you are, what time, blah, blah, blah.